2020? I never get used to saying the current number before we have to start changing. All my checks and everything and else. you got to write it out. It's like, wait right. a second here. <laughs> Where are we? 2020. Can yes. you imagine? Yes. And, and again, as you know, it will be our 32nd annual Buffalo Ball Drop here in the Queen City right. at the Iscolo Development Electric Tower at Roosevelt Plaza, expecting thousands of people as usual. And some fun facts about the ball drop itself. Now, the glamorous ball will be 220 pounds and has 350 LED lights. Cool. Woo! Nice. You're Light not going to miss that dropping down. <laughs> you are not going to miss that. Entertainment. We all like to listen to music here in Buffalo. Opening act will be Will Holton. We know Will. We know Will. He's been there, on the yeah, show for he's years. Great. Now. Wonderful. He will open that up at uh, 1030, saxophonist, world renowned. And then the main act at 1045, the Tommy Z Band. Yes. Also another regular guest here on AM Buffalo. That's going to be a great time. Mm -hmm. Good time. It'll be fun. Now, yeah. yesterday we were out at the big press conference gearing up for this special night here in the Queen City. Here's what Mayor Byron Brown had to say about the highlights of the festivities. It's a countdown to the new year, and there is so much to look forward to in 2020. Now, here's a fun fact. Did you know that Buffalo has the second largest ball drop in the country? And that's next to New York City. So I would say we're a pretty big deal. Now, joining us this morning is Mayor Byron Brown. There's so much to look forward to. 32 years of this celebration. How is the city preparing this year? Uh, you know, we prepare with our police department, our fire department, Department of Public Works. Uh, it's a fundraiser for the Police Athletic League, but we want to make sure that people have a safe time, a fun time, uh, that the infrastructure is repaired, and that people can come down and really enjoy this tremendous tradition uh, with family and friends. And you really do expect thousands of people to come down here to Roosevelt Plaza. We expect thousands and thousands of people. It seems to get bigger every single year. New features are added every single year. It's really a wonderful experience. And uh, as mayor of the city of Buffalo, I'm very proud to invite people to come down and enjoy this family-friendly event, the ball drop and fireworks display. Mayor, looking ahead to the future, what do you see for the Queen City in 2020? Well, we see continued growth, not only in downtown Buffalo, but neighborhoods in every section of our city. A lot of projects that are moving forward a lot of new projects that are in the queue, you know, uh, moving uh, in the, the uh, moving off the drawing board. So we're very excited about that. We're certainly excited about what M&T Bank, our presenting sponsor, is doing in bringing 1,500 technology jobs over the next three years to downtown Buffalo. So this is a great time to be in Buffalo with a lot of things happening. There's a lot to be excited about and a lot to look forward to. To Mayor Byron Brown, thank you so much. Happy New Year to you and happy holidays. Thank you, Courtney. Same to you and your family. Cool. Hey, yeah. Courtney, you know what? Wear your, your Buffalo Bills playoff stuff. Yeah. Right? And that's, we that's are the playoff first thing we're going to look forward to in the new year. You right? better believe it. Now, this was all started by 97 Rock as a gift to the city in 1988. Channel 7 has been the official TV sponsor since the beginning with the city of Buffalo. So we are going Very to be a cool. part of this special night, ringing in the new year. Yeah, it's going to be great. Just dress warm. Ooh. So speaking of dressing warm, what do you say we check the 7 first alert forecast? Yeah,